are you doing back here? I'm trying to figure out my game plan for the solar eclipse. The eclipse? Isn't that like a month away? Actually, it's 25 days, 19 hours, 24 minutes, and 18 seconds away. You have a countdown for that? Oh yeah, of course. The last time there was a solar eclipse was 38 years ago. And the next one's not even gonna happen until 2024. And on top of that, the last time there was a total solar eclipse that crossed over the state of Tennessee was back in the 1800s. So it's really not every day you get to see a solar eclipse in your backyard. So wasn't there one back in the 90s? That was actually an annual eclipse in 1994. That's when the moon is further away from the Earth, so it doesn't cover the whole sun. This time, it's going to be closer, so the whole sun will get covered by the eclipse. So where's the best place to see this at? The path of totality will cross between Knoxville and Chattanooga, but most of the area will see a near total eclipse this time. So obviously you don't want any clouds obstructing our view, so where do you think the best place to see this is? That's what I was working on earlier! I'm taking a look at the weather data for the past 30 years at all of our weather sites and trying to figure out the cloud coverage for the hours of 1 to 4 p.m. on August 21st. Look, the results are in! Our best chance of clear skies for the eclipse appears to be at Chattanooga. Fancy, what else can that thing do? Watch this. Paul, what's the weather going to be like for the eclipse on August 21st? I'm sorry, the date is too far away to produce an accurate forecast. Daily forecasts will be available on weather.gov starting the evening of August 14th. You can enter your city or zip code for a point-specific forecast. Thanks, Paul! So you're telling me you did all this work when you can just get a forecast from the website a week out? Huh! I guess you're right! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough there, Paul.